Oh. Oh, boys. We're in business. Oh my gosh. Hello! Today, I, I'm actually super excited for today's video because I'm, I'm building something. Uh, obviously, by the title, you already got... Y'all already know what I'm building. I've got all the parts right here except fans. I'm still waiting on three fans to arrive, but I've got my CPU fan already. I've got the couple fans that come already in the... the the PC tower, so I think I'll be good enough for now. I mean, as long as I don't do anything too hardcore or too too crazy to overheat my system, I should be fine with the fans in the in the case and the CPU fan. But I'll be getting more additional fans as well later on that light up, and it's gonna look so good. So if you're new, if you're new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more um, besides just building this thing. I'm gonna be using it. To its full potential. I keep looking over here because this is where all my parts are. It's out. It's out of. It's off. Off the screen. But we're gonna we're gonna get this thing built and hopefully correctly built and up and running today. Right now, I did help Logan build his a little bit a little bit ago, so I know what I'm doing. But I also don't know 100% what I'm doing. I'll be linking everything I've got here if you're interested. All that stuff. We got Windows 10 USB installed because I don't have an optical drive, nor do I need one because everything that I'm getting is downloadable. Optical drive is the CD drive discs that you put in. I won't be needing that because I won't be watching DVDs or installing anything with CDs. So everything else I'm installing from, from the interwebs. But I will be going over what things are to the people because I know I have a lot of viewers and a lot of subscribers who have no idea how a PC and a computer is built. And if you're interested, enjoy. <laughs> And if you're not interested, I'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. But I will go into a little bit in depth about what part, what each part is and what it does and all that stuff. Actually, before I get into actually building, I'll show you everything that I've got. This, this is the processor. This is kind of like the brain of the computer. Simply put, it's this little square chip. That's all it is. I just spit. Did you see that? This is the Ryzen, AMD Ryzen 7 1700, eight cores and um, 16 threads and uh, 3.0 gigahertz base and 3.7 overclocked. Pretty dang powerful processor. This is it, this is the little processor. The whole rest of this box is the CPU cooling. This attaches on top of this to make sure this doesn't overheat. Cool, cool. What's the next part? We'll do the mother. <clears throat> this is the motherboard. This is where everything, basically everything plugs into this connects the processor to the graphics card to know what the graphics card is supposed to show all that stuff this is the really cool motherboard ax370 gaming 5 mount uh for the amd processor because you could get this same motherboard which logan has the same motherboard but for intel and my processor this little guy won't mount onto his intel board it'll mount onto my amd board though also has RGB LEDs in it, programmable, all that stuff. If you don't know what that means, RGB, red, green, blue. <laughs> red, green, blue, meaning all the lights. You can change like the whole array of colors. You can change, it's not only red, green, and blue, but you use red, green, and blue to mix and painting, cre I don't know, art on the side right here. Can you even, let me double check. Oh yeah, you can see. Maybe I'll do a close up once I'm actually building. Right here, it's got a bunch of ports. It does have an HDMI output on the motherboard, but if you wanna use your graphics card, you wanna have the HDMI coming out of the graphics card opposed to coming out of right here. That way you actually use the graphics memory. The RAM, which I forgot what stands for, but it means something. These RAM sticks slide into these slots right here. You can, I can have up to four. These are eight gigabytes each, so 16 gigabytes of RAM in total. Also, RGB LEDs, RGB, the colors, programmable, and LED as in light up 
lights. I'm going for a black and yellow theme. That's why my, my, my chair that you saw from a few videos ago is black and yellow. Normally I wouldn't choose a color like that. I don't really like yellow, but I think it's gonna look really cool all together and with my chair matching it and my keyboard matching it and all that stuff. This is memory, not as in storage memory, but memory as in for programs to run and operate. SSD, this will be plugged into, into the motherboard, not onto it, because you can get some M.2 or something, I don't know. Either way, this plugs into the motherboard. This is what I'm gonna be running Windows 10 on, the operating system. This is faster than a hard drive. Hard drive is where I'm gonna store all my games. This is 250 gigabytes. This hard drive is two terabytes. So I've got a lot of, a lot of storage. I will be editing on this thing. So these, the hard drive and the solid state drive, those both will plug into this, but they'll mount in the, in the case, not they won't mount onto this, whereas these actually mount onto this. This is my graphics card. I've got the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GT GT <laughs> GeForce GTX 1060. They've released all the way up to the 1080 now. 1060 with six gigabytes of graphics memory. The graphics memory is different from this RAM memory. This is strictly to get better graphics when you're editing videos or processing videos or playing video games and all that stuff. This specific graphics card came with Rocket League, which is a game I play a lot, but it also um, is not worth it if you're gonna get a three gigabyte one. I would highly recommend getting the six gigabyte one. It's more more graphics memory. First, pop, pop this up, put the processor. There's a little marking on the corner of it uh, that lines up with another marking. There we go. Got it. Now I'm working on getting this processor fan mounted on top of that so that this doesn't ever overheat. So that's what he's got. There we go. We have the processor and the CPU cooling unit right on top of the processor, all screwed in good and tight. Now, we're gonna slide these into here. Pop that out, pop that out, pop that one out, and pop that one out. So we're gonna do alternating ones. So you push, those are pretty tough to get in. You push until both sides click. There we go. Those will light up as well. I believe we're gonna move on to putting all this stuff in the actual case, especially before mounting the graphics, <clears throat> the graphics card and all that jazz. We're gonna place the motherboard in here. There's seven, eight, and nine places to screw this in. There's also holes in the motherboard that should line up correctly with all of this. This is the little plate to mount this SSD on. Not looking forward to cable management, but it looks like I got a lot of holes to thread the cables through. We shouldn't run into any problems of running out of space or anything. SSD, mount it. Ta -da 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 Hard drive. A lot bigger than the SSD, but slower. Do I want it on the bottom or the top? I'm gonna do the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Building a computer. Hard drive mounted. Now it is officially time to power give uh, the, put in the power supply. Part way through this build, I realized I hadn't gotten my power supply yet. And I forgot, I forgot that I didn't have a power supply. But also part way through this build, the power supply got delivered. I was gonna cut after got everything up to the power supply and I was gonna cut and then film as soon as this got here, whether it was tomorrow or the other day or the next day or whatever, but I'm glad it got here and we can film it all and get it built today. I got the 650 watt 
the EVGA Supernova Next 650G. This 650 watt should do me justice in powering everything. I don't think I'll run into, and I got the modular portion, so I don't have to deal with a bunch of cords if I don't use all the cords, which a lot of people, most people don't use all the cords unless they have a super decked out computer. But this lets me just plug in the cords that I, just the cords that I need. Power supply, fan on the bottom, here we go. We got all the ports on this side. This sticks out the back over here and plugs into the wall. Right now is the moment of truth to see if all of that hard work and hours put into this actually makes it turn on. Oh, oh, those are on. I believe that's a good sign. I'm gonna hit the power button. Oh, oh boys, we're in business. Oh my God. Gosh, none of this is, um, I haven't set the colors yet, but it's working. It's running. It's on. I made a working computer. I'll show you guys once it's, um, totally on and once I get it all 100% set up to the TV, well, to my monitor and all that stuff. We successfully have Windows 10 installed. It's, well, I've got it up and running right here. Ignore these lines. There, that's better. But look, beautiful, it's working. The, this is going on. I'm gonna change all of it to black and yellow. It's future price, and let me show you guys. I finally have 100% the whole computer built. Well, minus a fan, like there's still one more fan that I wanna put into the computer, but besides that, all the colors are good, all, everything, everything, look, 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 look. We got the black and yellow keyboard with the black and yellow chair. Two yellow fans on the front. We're gonna get a middle one as well. Yellow fan at the top. This is the crazy cool yellow. We got the two yellow fans in the front and the whole yellow, black and yellow. Oh, Yes, I do realize there's some, like there's a green light in there and some orange lights. Those aren't programmable. Those are just the motherboard. Like those lights mean different information, all that stuff. But yeah, it's all put together. <laughs>